Yo, what is good, John? Welcome back to you again. Another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger for you guys. Now, as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail, yes, this is another Mexico night uh, video. There will be a whole bunch of these videos coming, a whole bunch of races, um, whether it be on the drag strip or it be out in Mexico. If you guys are interested in seeing these videos, man, go ahead and give these videos thumbs up or drop them down in the comment section down below and let me know so I can continue to make these videos. Um, the last video that I dropped was against a full Bolton E85 350Z and a lot of people are confused as to why I lost and there's some things done to that car that like you guys heard in the video, my boy doesn't want to talk about on camera and you know what I'm saying, I'm going to respect it. It is what it is. It's not that big of a deal to me. It's not like we have money on the race or anything like that. It was literally just some fun runs. It was some good runs. So you can say what you want. A whole bunch of people have been coming out the woodworks trying to call me out now and stuff like that. So my boy Frankie, if you're watching this, which I think you are, you know what I'm saying? You probably are. Props to you because you got your boys thinking that they can come <laughs> and mess with Reaper and it's gonna be all good and dandy. But they don't understand what you have, they don't have when they cost. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. Now, second thing that I wanna go ahead and talk about before this video gets started, I wanna give it a huge shout out to my boy Black Boy Londo for all of the clips, man. Um, literally every single clip that you see in this video was shot by him off of his phone and his five and below setup, you do what I'm saying? Um, so huge shout out to you, bro. And then at the end of the video, I'm also gonna insert some clips of just some runs that they got um, after the track um, night that we had. If you guys missed that video, uh, the last track night at Houston Raceway Park, make sure you guys go tap into that video. I'll go ahead and tag it at the end of this video as well. So you guys can check that join out. But yeah, man, went out with a whole bunch of the guys. We had a great time. We got some good runs in, but stuff got hella crazy. I ain't even gonna lie. So basically, let me go ahead and explain to you guys what I'm talking about, and then I'll run the clips. Basically, like I said, it was the last track event um, at Houston Raceway Park, and there's a nice little shortcut that you gotta take through Mexico to help you get to that uh to the drag strip a whole lot faster. So me and my boy Black Boy Lando and my boy Charlie, he has a S197, um, which you guys will be seeing in the video. I did get a run in with him, so you guys can go ahead and see that um, at, in this video as well. But basically, we went ahead and took the shortcut through Mexico, um, and while we were on the way to the track, you know what I'm saying, um, me and Lando had lined up, but basically, we had no idea what the hell we were getting ourselves into at the time. So basically, you know, we were lining up and Londo was setting up his little five and below iPhone um, holder for his camera. Um, and again, it's from five and below. So that joint hella finicky, you feel me? So it took him a fat minute, but thankfully it did because little did I know in the left lane next to me was an undercover cop in a Chevy Tahoe. I'm talking about this joint was all blacked out, leg legitimately had no lights like on the side or anything, not even the holographic um, police words, nothing bro, like legit. It was dead ass, just plain Jane, undo like I said. Um, little did I know he was sitting right next to me. So basically what happens is, and you guys will see in the clip, we're literally lining up, we're getting ready to go ahead and run. This is gonna be the first run of the night, you dig know what I'm saying? Dead ass, all you hear is Londo and his loud ass car downshifting or patting the gas, whatever the fuck he was doing, you dig know what I'm saying? And you see my car, uh, you know, just chilling, ready, I already done downshifted, I'm waiting on this dude. All of a sudden, right when we're about to go, all you hear is the sirens blaring. And I'm like, bro, what the fuck? I look up in the rear view mirror, I don't see nobody behind me. I look to my left, all I see is the fat computer in the passenger seat of the Tahoe, the sirens coming from the Tahoe, and well, this is what happened.
So as you guys can see, you dig what I'm saying? It was crazy, I'm not even gonna lie. I really thought that I was gonna be going to jail that night, but thankfully, like I said, we were in Mexico. So all the cop did was blare his siren at us, um, basically telling us to chill the fuck out, got in front of us, and then he took off. Literally, like bro, when I say this joint was the most top tier undo, like legit had nothing, even regular plates. Now, if you guys know the police cars, you would know that the plates, they don't have regular plates. They are typically say service or something like that on the top, like service vehicle. And then secondly, all police cars, this is free game for everybody out there, bro. If you didn't know, all police cars do not have the roof railings. The little um, Expeditions and the Tahoes and, um, and the Silverados and shit like that that they got, none of them have the roof railings. So if you see uh, a Tahoe or a Suburban or something behind you and you think it's the feds, bro, and you can't quite tell, all you have to do is look at the roof. If the roof does not have the roof rack on it, then yeah, I'd slow the fuck down. But if it does, shit, fuck it, send that hoe, you feel me? But like I said, man, um, got some great runs in. A lot of people, you know what I'm saying, are gonna continue to talk they smack, and it's cool, bro. At the end of the day, I already have modifications waiting for Reaper as we speak. They're all in the garage. All I have to do is throw them on. The only reason why I have yet to do that is because stock MT82, man, you feel me? Yes, I have the twin disc stage floor next gritty clutch. Um, and yes, I do have the upgraded throwout bearing. However, I still have the stock shifter and I still have a stock transmission. You dig what I'm saying? So with that being said, I want to continue to get these runs in while I'm completely bone stock so I can learn the vehicle. I really do need a short throw shifter. This is something that I've noticed um, through all of the races. Fifth gear is just too freaking far, bro. Like legit, it is legit too far for runs. As a matter of fact, let's go downstairs to the garage and I'll show you. All right, y'all. Don't mind that the hood is popped. That's for a different video. Just don't mind that. First, second, third, and fourth. Literally are all grouped together. That's great, you know what I'm saying? Those are hella easy. This is amazing. Now this is fifth. What the fuck? Fourth, fifth. Bro, who the hell has time to do that while running, bro? First, second, third, fourth. Literally are so close. And then fifth. What the fuck? As y'all can see, fifth gear is dead ass far as shit compared to the rest of the gears. First through fourth are literally like close as hell together, smooth transitions going in between the gears. And then you have to go all the way over and up to fifth gear as if you were going to reverse. And I think that's how the S197s are to get into reverse or like an older style BMW or whatever. It just, I can't lie, bro. It, it's a pain, honestly, because I'll be going to get into fifth mid shift and then I'll get locked out. And you guys can see that in majority of the runs. Like I'll get out ahead on these guys and then dead ass be going into fifth and I'll get locked out of fifth and that's when they catch up and they take over. Now I'm not gonna sit here and cap. We got some great runs, me and my boy Londo. It's a little feud that we got going on right now. Just friendly, you know, jokes. It's all jokes. That's my nigga for real. But, you know what I'm saying? Just a little back and forth. He got his dubs. I got my dubs. We got some great runs in. Now, when I get that short throw shifter in, you already know it's going to be hell to pay. Plus, I got some other modifications. Y'all stay tuned. But without further ado, man, that's actually gonna wrap it up for this video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up if you guys like the Mexico content. Y'all let me know down in the comment section down below. It's been your boy, J.I. I will see you in the next one. Peace.